Good evening, everybody. I'm G Paul Silvermane, and this is a Marvel Strike Force video. This one is uh, it's the Friday night blog post that they put out every week on their main page. If you want to go check it out yourself, or if you're already following it, or have it bookmarked on your browser. Um, we're going to kind of go through it, and I'm going to give a little bit of feedback, and we're just going to check it out. Um, these Infinity Stones are really, really awesome in this armor. And it's more of a darker tint than that. It's making it look more silver. I think it's more like a, a, a bronze or a gold. It's really, really nice. Quality Mojoverse streaming. Greetings, Commanders. The ratings-obsessed Mojo is getting in on the streaming service action with an upcoming special event, and this week we've got the details to help you tune in. But the credits don't roll after the reveal because we've also got new repeating legendary event. A new featured character punching the clock for Strike Pass, a slew of characters on the move, and bonus events double your fun and resources. For our upcoming events, keep in mind that, da that Daylight Savings Time is dropping back Sunday um, in the U.S. So you'll see some adjustments, most notably from 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, for me, it's on one of my counts, it's 5 to 4, but it's 7 to 6 on my main, which is what I've become so accustomed to. So that, that'll be a shock to the system for sure. Now, if your TV has a dial, don't touch it. As for the rest of us, with the modern TVs, keep the channel at Marvel Strike Force. Um, as seen on TV, Mojo is getting ready to launch at his new Mojo Plus streaming service and to make sure it gets rave. That's Mojo Plus. Come on now. He's featuring his greatest superstar characters. And Mojo needs you, Commander, to make Mojo Plus a hit. Battle with his superstars in exchange for fabulous prizes during the limited time event. And it quite literally, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, RTA or Mojo's Mayhem or nothing. So, it's all about the quality streaming milestone. This is kind of cool. Um, turn in enemies into dead air using characters with a limited time superstar trait and blitz to earn points towards a two-day recurring milestone. That repeats five times. Ten days total. So, it's two days each. You get five milestones recurring. So, they must be larger payouts. You know what I mean? Like, you have to go further with uh, points. Um, instead of having them last 24 hours and getting 10 of them, you're just going to get five. Um, earn additional points by blitzing with superstar characters with gear tier 9 plus, 12 plus, and 15 plus. Or battling in arena and raids with any character. Rewards include teal, orange, and purple gear, as well as gold phase bits that can be used in exchange for limited time costumes. I believe it is the Ultron from um, What If. So... I don't know what's going on with Bullseye's costume yet or Phoenix, but we're going to find out. Um, scoring, the duration for two days. Win or lose arena, 120 points. Win or lose raid, 75. Um, win blitz, 15 points each. Win a blitz sim, it's only 8 points. So playing them on auto, it's going to be a time sink. But if you're at home just chilling or you're on break chilling, you're going to get double the points. So it's huge. Um, half the blitzing essentially, but it does take a lot more time. Blitz simming is so fast. So if it's not essential to win blitz, I'd probably just go with Sem and do multiple rotations, and you'll save tons of time. Now, if you blitz with the trait, you get 20 points. Um, and I'm assuming that's if you win. I don't know. But I never build the teams with the blitz trait uh, superstar. I just get the points as I get them, okay? Um, it might be something to focus on, but I usually get enough points just running the teams I have and getting the bonuses where it gives it to me. To max the milestones usually. That's on my main. That I ain't want my free to play or nothing like that. So we will have to look at it once it arrives. And I'll make a video more in depth on what you can expect to do and receive. Um, when Blitz with gear tier 9 plus is 7 points. And remember these have to be the superstar uh, characters I believe. When Blitz with gear tier 12 plus you get 6 additional points. 13 total. Ah for a win. Okay. I think no wait so it's six additional points five additional points so if you're using 15 plus you're going to get 18 or 13 if you're using 12 plus and nine plus you're going to get seven points so if you take in five superstar characters at 15 you're going to get 18 total additional points um with each character essentially so if you have five 15 plus you're going to get this times five i believe um it's how i'm understanding it anyway if you're understanding it differently, please let me know. Because that would be a 90 point total off one blitz of 15 plus characters. That would be pretty huge. Ranked leaderboards. Once you've earned a to at least 3,000 points via the quality streaming milestone, climb the ranks of a leaderboard that rewards gold phase bits 
and gold promotion credit. So this is a, a side by side event essentially is what I'm understanding here. Um, that's what I'm taking. Is it two events then? Because we're going to be running this, blitzing essentially, doing all these things for this, the quality streaming milestone. Now, the ranked leaderboards, the milestone, once you've earned at least 3,000 points. See, now I wonder if 3,000 points is uh, going to get you all the good rewards, and then it goes to gold phase bits and gold promotion credits. So I imagine going past 3,000 points is probably going to be difficult in two days. Um, how difficult? I don't know. And this ranks of a leaderboard. So this might actually be different altogether for these. I don't know. That's confusing me. If you do know, please comment down below and let me know. Let us all know. Because <laughs> this ain't clarifying here. I don't know if it's after the 3,000 points you've earned, you're going to start getting gold phase bits and gold promotions or what. But that's telling us it's more than 3,000 points essentially every two days you have to earn. Which we were doing 3,500 on the lab experiments one. So I don't think this is going to be a problem to get to 3,000 personally um, for a, a veteran account, I should say. Now, as for a free-to-play or something, it's going to be a lot different. Kind of get what you get. It's free as free as free. Get what you can get, you know, and that's kind of awesome because it's going to help you no matter what it is. Costumes. As seen on TV features, a new costume, as well as three costumes featured in past events. So they're bringing back some old ones. Use the gold face bits earned during the event to purchase your choice of costume. So... Essentially, if you're using Ultron or not, if you just want the costume, but I'd say if you're using it more than anything, you're probably going to want that awesome new costume. I think he looks great, great the way he is. He just looks way better in the new costume, right? But I've seen Ultron for the last two years in this game and as a silver, as Ultron, you know? But they are bringing back WandaVision 50s costume and WandaVision for Vision 50s costume. So you can get Scarlet Witch or Vision if you liked either of those. And uh, Loki's President Loki costume. So if there's one of these that really catch your eye, you're going to want to spend your gold phase bits on that one. Um, obviously, players that haven't even completed DD1 or DD2, you're not going to be too concerned with Ultron's costume because you're not going to get to see it ever until you unlock him. Um, and as you can see, they bring back costumes or make them acquirable other ways. Maybe you will just wait on him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know which one I'm going to go after personally. I do use Ultron on my main, but only in War Attacks. And uh, he's a great character. So I did like WandaVision a lot, the show. So I might go Vision's WandaVision and hope he gets a rework. Because <laughs> he's not he's not anywhere near a meta of any kind. All right. So carrying on here, it says, get ready because the show starts soon. Strike Pass. All right. Time is running out on the current season. So keep completing your daily objectives to earn dagger character shards. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get any more dagger. I think I've maxed those, but I will get the luminous credits and put them into dagger. Um, season 8 will end on November 9th, and please note, they've actually fixed this. This is a huge improvement. It's only going to be a 15-minute delay where I think they were taking days between strike passes. It was, it was actually kind of awful. Um, you weren't getting rewards at all, and you're used to getting those rewards, right? But it'll only take a 15-minute period to finalize the season before the next begin. So it'll instantly start 15 minutes after the last one ends at reset, pretty much. The next season of Strike Pass then starts November 9th at 4 p.m. and features the limb-shattering services of Shang, Shang-Chi. Shang -Chi. Um, he reminds me of Bruce Lee. He is amazing. Um, everything about him is rather amazing. New repeating legendary event. Make room, Magneto, and Invisible Woman. Oh... Because a new repeating legendary event is on the way. Starting on November 8th, Phoenix's legendary event, Phoenix Rising, will repeat regularly every six to seven weeks. What was it before? You'll still be able to earn character shards from the Malicious Manipulator's bonus event prior to the Phoenix Rising, but the login calendar has been discontinued. Instead, you'll receive three shards for up to seven of the required characters in the inbox. Okay, so that's what's changing. You're going to get three shards of each of the seven instead of five shards each day for seven days um, is what they're saying there. But Phoenix is coming back. There's rumors that she's going to be a five star unlock instead of a six star. Cause she was the only six star unlock. Um, so those of you that have pu been pushing to six stars, I'm sorry, but you may still need six stars. Um, we don't know. It's not proven. I've seen rumors. So 
we'll see what happens there if it's going to be a five star unlock or a six it's not going to change what i'm doing with my account uh but she is a great character all around great character um availability updates the doors may have closed on lab experiments event but there's still time to redeem your silver promo or silver phase bits for venom's ancient pharaoh's costume all unused bits will be transferred into other stuff at a lower rate on november 6 5 p.m so head to the costume store before this happens i did get the venom costume it's amazing uh running with symbiotes through u75 or in doom raids and he's over there in this pharaoh's costume looking thing he, to me he's like a pharaoh mummy costume you know it's pretty awesome um it's a change of visual and it, it's rather stimulating i mean visually stimulating it's quite wonderful on the character front three heroes are on the move in the the coming week on november 9th colleen wing is slashing into the arena orb all right so this means nothing to me personally other than scream is not going to be 500 arena credits which i will be buying because she's one of two characters at 500 credits that i need to seven star she's almost a seven star so i will pay the 500 arena for her um my opinion is Phyla Vell is going to go into the arena store at 975. That's double the price. I would not pay that for any player that is not in game. Okay. If you have every other character in the arena store maxed out, then you can uh, uh, go ahead and pay this. But even then, I don't know. Um, I might just let them stock up and then just spam the 500 three times a day for the character that drops to 500. That's my personal preference. Um, Infinity Watch is falling down they're obviously going to remain good for a long time to come yes but they're not worth going out of your way like this as well as calling wing she's the big big damage dealer next to shang chi on heroes for hire that's an awesome one but you should never open that arena orb it is terrible guys and more than likely you're going to get a hand archer or some terrible character minion okay um they took the minions out of the arena store i would debate opening that orb Especially for a new player, absolutely I would open that orb. Because you need all the characters anyway. And the extra loot would be additive. Kind of like Blitz Orbs, it gives you that gold. So, when I only need two characters, I'm going to open that orb just to get the gold. And the two characters I'm going for, if I get them, great. But if not, I'm not going to lose sleep, you know. Um, so, Scream, that will help if people are using Symbiotes. Now, if you're a newer player, Symbiotes should not be your first choice. I would recommend Axemen, uh, or X-Men, I guess they call them. But you need Jubilee. So even then, they're kind of a, a ways off type of deal. But I start farming uh, Bishop right away because he's a plug and play pre-fight taunt tank. He's amazing. He puts out so much damage on his own. Jubilee just gives him offense up <clears throat> as well as assists his attacks a lot of times. So you're losing that assist, but in all honesty, he's the one putting out the damage. You know what I mean? He does a 220k attack. She adds 50k with her assist. The 220 is getting it done, right? So... Eventually, you will need the Astonishing X-Men, and that will be something to work towards, but early on, I don't know. I, I'd recommend Axemen, yes, as your raid team, um, which then you obviously need Pemtech. So I recommend Bishop, Maria Hill, and then uh, Ghost, because the way it's going, you might need to use the three... Uh, actually, you do have to use those three to unlock Omega Red. So if you have no intention of getting Omega Red then you don't need Maria Hill. Put Ghost as your second next to Bishop um, and farm those two so you can get Jubilee for Axeman. That would be the next scenario, and that's the way you should go. So it's up to you if you're going for Omega Red or not. Then you need Maria Hill, and that's why she's second on the list is because I was going for Omega Red at the time, and it's now shifted, but I'm still going for Maria Hill. So um, she's a great character, and it adds an awesome team. And I have been picking up Ghost. I got Ghost at over three stars just from premium orbs and milestone orbs and such. So that's something also to think about. We've also got two Red Star promotion updates heading your way. Dagger's going to be available in the Elite Store for purchase for your silver promos and your gold promos at November 10th at 4 p.m. And accompanying the new Doom War chapter, we'll also be making additional Red Star promotions available for Dr. Doom in the near future, though. So you need dark promo credits, which is what Ultron uses. And that's how you're going to get a fifth red star on Doom. I think that's where they're going to cap you at for a while to see how he does. Because it's just, it's a big jump. Five and seven are huge power jumps, okay? Um, I think it takes you from like 30 or 35% up to 50% with that fifth star. Um, it's quite huge. And then from five to six, you get 50 to 60. And then the seventh star gives you a 15% jump to 75%. So that's why those two stars are the most important. Um, but that's something to think about. Whatever you want to do with that. 
Um, I got Dagger at three yellow, three red, and that's where she's going to stay until she becomes farmable. I'm not going to be buying her red stars, obviously, but that is cool for the people that are. Um, upcoming blitzes. Uh, light a fire under your roster with two beastly characters. So Beast is coming. Um, heating up the battle on November 8th at 4 p.m. is the Flame On Blitz. So Johnny Storm, Fantastic Four, the damage dealer of the team. Uh, he puts out a lot of damage, but he's very squishy. Um, get his shards if you need them, absolutely. And enjoy him because he's a great character, a great war offense. Um, where you can cut through enemies like a hot knife through butter, absolutely. As long as you can keep him alive. <coughs> Which you almost need She-Hulk to pull that taunt just to keep him alive. Um, maybe it's why she, they made her. I don't know. But she's great for war defense. And then you want to use Namor supposedly on war offense. Um, and then November 11th at 4 p.m. is the Azure, Azure, Azure Animal Blitz. Slam enemies in battle to rack up tons of beast shards. That one is, I will be going hard no matter what. I go hard on them all really. Except my main account, if it's maxed, I'll just do my daily objectives and get the milestones. Bonus and flash events. This is huge. Um, arriving just in time for Phoenix. Repeated legendary event, the Militia Manipulator's bonus event on November 7th. Earn double shard payouts and campaign notes for your villain Mystic Controller characters. Now this is something to take advantage of, absolutely. And prep for your Phoenix's arrival. So it's going to give you times two on like uh, Mordo... Um, Hella, obviously, and uh, I can't think of the other ones, <laughs> but I know uh, it's a great, great event, so take advantage of it. Filter your roster by Villain Mystic Controller for a complete list of eligible characters. That is the easy way to do it. You can also go to the campaign. It shows bonus up top, and then you can see down below on the bottom. It'll have an exclamation on the, the chapter of that campaign. Then on November 12th at 4 p.m., Chaos Theory returns with your opportunity to send your Orkandans into battle. Now, this is the primary and really the only way to get silver and gold promo credits without spending money. So, this is huge, guys. This is the one event that I base my guide on. This and Payday. This is massive. And this is why I'm stressing it so much. Um, huge, huge event. You can bolster a red star from 4 to 5 and you have those promos and other people that don't follow it don't have the promos. They're not doing that. So, your power level is going to jump exponentially by following this. Um, bolster your Wakandans for this mention on November 11th at 4 p.m. With the Wakandan, Wakanda Nation bonus event, which rewards double shards, payouts, and campaign nodes. That'll be great for Black Panther and Okoye. So I'm loving that. Filter your roster to Wakandan to see which characters qualify. And those are the only two. I'm sure he's a legendary. and uh, Killmongers and raids. And, oh man, who's the fifth? And Baku's in a uh, alliance store. Also arriving on November 12th at 4 p.m. is the XP Throttle Bonus Event. So this is cool. They usually uh, have one of these when they up the level cap, like from 80 to 85 or 75 to 80. They'll give you this event, and all it's doing is giving you double XP. So every energy you spent, you get one XP in this game. Um, so that's huge, but I wouldn't spend cores or nothing personally. I mean, I'm at level 85, and I just got there by playing the game. I don't have the gold to advance the character, so there's no reason to get him, you know what I mean? Rush to 85 and then I have no gold to level up a character. What good was that? You get what I'm saying? So this XP event will help brand new players or people that aren't level 70-ish. Um, and it'll help everybody that's not max level, really. Commander's level 14 and above. So you will be a level 14, but I think you hit level 17 or 18 just the first day of playing if you actually play the game. Uh, don't miss out on earning double experience rewards from campaign notes for a limited time. So, I don't know if it's 24 hour or 48 hours a week time. But just take what you can get. Keep playing the way you normally play. Um, if you're a spender, this is worth investing in for a newer player maybe. Uh, I never did on my main and I'm perfectly fine. But that is a cool event. It will help newer players for sure. Until next time. Good luck, Commander. So, that was awesome. Um, wrapping it all up, we got a Beast Blitz coming and a, a Johnny Storm uh, event coming for Blitz. Also, get your Venom Ancient Pharaoh if you haven't already and you have the credits for it because they reduce it down 60% transaction. They're taking 40% of your credits, essentially. Very, very scary. Chaos Theory is coming. I hope you're maxing out your uh, Wakandans if you haven't already. You should be focusing them. Like I said, M'Baku is the most important character in the arena store just for that. 
Um, Colleen Wing, if you're buying arena orbs, this is awesome news for you. Um, Philo Lavelle, I will not be buying her shards even at 975 until she hits 500. And they seem to start to do this quicker about every month or so they drop down. So wait a month and she'll be at 500 and you can buy her then. Uh, the Infinity Watch, it's not worth spending that extra because Infinity Watch is just dwindling. Okay, guys. Um, absolutely scream if you're a newer player don't be buying scream shards because symbiote spider-man is so far into doom campaign your account will be fully built by the time you get to it um, you won't even have to worry about symbiotes at that point um, these new events coming up are quite awesome strike pass for Shang-Chi I always buy strike pass um, I imagine you'll get a decent amount in the free line as well as the pay line so everybody that's pretty cool even if you're free to play um, Shang Chi's a great, great character, and I took him straight to G15 when I unlocked him. He actually, I get war win defense or defensive war wins with him and like four thirty thousand characters. Right? I think I got Luke Cage at 50k, but that's awesome. Dagger, that event is finishing up, and it will start the new one 15 minutes after, which is amazing. Okay, that is a great quality of life that they're doing there. They're actually speeding up these gold face bits and. Uh, I believe they're giving us gold promotion credits. That's another way. You only get five of them for $20 in the battle pass. And that's if you get to level 100 after spending the $20. Um, you get five gold promos. It takes 100 for a six red star and 150 of those credits for a seven star red star. So if you ever spend your 150 red star or your gold promotion credits on a seven red star, make sure it's one you're going to use forever. Um, and which sucks is they're always constantly... Ch -ch 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 changing it so your seven red star could go down the drain pretty quick um check out the costumes i might look into the vision one myself or the scarlet witch i don't know about loki as president or ultron they're all looking amazing right ultron looks sensational but you barely i barely use them um i would never get to see it so we'll see what we'll see how it breaks down um enjoy the free loot for all those that you that get it um get what you can get for newer players the point breakdown ch -ch 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 -ch. Bop, bop. And that's pretty much it, guys. Mojo Plus, huh? It's coming streaming live. That's crazy they took that route. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay healthy.